Hi, Cancer. I'm here to do your weekly reading for you. Let's get a overall energy for the week. Ooh, that flipped out. You got the snake spirit, which says time to heal. Okay. Okay, we're going to take some cards for the week. The Eight of Pentacles. Some cards fell. Let me pick them up. Well, we have five. But they flew out, so I think we should take them. You have the Hierophant, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, and we are not going to have enough room. <laughs> and yes, you can still see that. The Three of Swords. Yeah, you can still see everything. And the Seven of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Wands. I'm going to put this over here because it's not going to fit on this side. So let's talk about these for a minute. Okay. The Eight of Pentacles is about you working diligently, repeating the same thing over and over again to perfect your craft. The thing that it is that you are trying to become a master of. You're working diligently on it. Next, the Hierophant is about you learning from a source that is trusted. Next, you have the Ace of Swords, which is a new beginning, a new challenge. Here you have Another new beginning, Ace of Cups, which is some, you know, cups are about love. So it's something to do with the love aspect or art type project. And here you have the Three of Swords, which is something that was hurtful to you. Something happened that caused you pain, but you'll get through it okay. And then here you have the Seven of Cups, which is all about choices. And I guess a cautionary tale with this would be, since you have so many choices, make an informed decision on your choice. Because some of the choices might not be good. Some might be wonderful. So make for sure you check it out and pick the right one. Now I can see how a few of these things really go in with uh, the new beginning. Like if you have a broken heart, you know, that could cause a new beginning. And here it says time to heal. If you have a broken heart, you might need to take a time out and heal, which could very well bring on a new beginning. And you have the Seven of Cups, which is choices. So if you're looking for a new beginning, you might very well be looking at all the different things and trying to decide what it is that you want to start. So this is kind of a obviously spread out, but okay. Time to heal. Something happened. A broken heart. And we don't know why yet. Looks like it's causing a new beginning. New beginning with love, a new challenge. You're going to make a choice. Learn about it. Practice, study, and the overall energy that kind of affects this group is the Two of Wands. See, he's holding the world in his hands. He knows what he wants. And now he's just trying to figure out how to go 
forward and get this thing or do this thing. And that's what I think this talks about. You take your time to heal from this. You get your new beginning. You have choices and learning. So probably you're learning about it. You make your choice. You know what you want. You go for it. And here you're practicing and practicing to perfect it. Okay, let's go a little bit deeper and maybe not take six cards this time. But, you know, it's up to the universe. I planned on three, but whatever the universe decides, I go with. Whoop, this fell out. Aha! Uh -huh. The Emperor and look. Okay. You have the very best card in the entire deck. You cannot get better than this. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, one more. The Lovers. And at the bottom of the deck, oh, one of my favorite cards is the Six of Cups. Okay, so let's talk about these energies a little bit. The Emperor, right here, is kind of like if you took all four kings and rolled them up into one, that would be a large part of the Emperor's energy. They are very abundant, and they are establishing structures and foundations from which their, maybe I should say your, success will grow. You favor stability and certainty over flexibility and change. You have the discipline to see your plans through. Okay. And that, you know, comes under here. We can't really do that too well here. Um, unless we move these out and kind of... You know, we could kind of do it like that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, at any rate, I could see how this could kind of work together. You're learning. And that, I think, would fit in with the Emperor quite well. And here you have your two beginnings, two new starts, and the sun. And here, you have a new beginning and a broken heart. And here's the lovers. And the lovers at one time used to be called the choice card. Or choices card. So, it is a choice. But it is about lovers. You have um, a decision to make of the highest moral grounds. But if this has anything to do with it, it looks like you made a decision because of a broken heart. And here, time to heal. And the decision you made was a new beginning. Okay? Oh, and you can't see this. Let me scoot this over. Okay. There we go. The Six of Cups is um, one of my favorite energies. It's often referred to as a nostalgic energy. But there are very few cards in the tarot where it takes place inside of a town. And this is one of those. And you see, this person is giving this person a cup. They are sharing. So it has to do with generosity. And it's within a town. So maybe this is a beautiful place to live, you know, where everybody works together and shares. Um, you're filled with happy memories from the past. You feel carefree, imaginative, and you bring cooperation and harmony to your current relationships and generosity you're sharing. So 
this, like this, kind of influences what is out here. Which I think is a lovely reading. But, it, okay, to recap, it looks like you suffered from a broken heart and probably had something to do with this, the lovers. You have new beginnings, swords and cups, new beginnings, new challenge, new love or art project. So you have all these choices. You decide on what it is that you want. You learn about it. You practice it. You're figuring out how to achieve it. And the Emperor is a very strong energy. So that's going to be very helpful. The Sun, you can't get any better. So I think whatever you're going for is going to have success. And here, this, like I said, I think is, might be part of the problem the choice that you had to make or felt you had to make. And here, it looks like this could easily be a very happily ever after. Along with this. Don't forget to take the time to heal. Okay. That is it for the week. Let me get a charm. See if we have anything. Ah. The mirror. Maybe, where to put this? Probably here. I have a feeling I should probably put it here. And when I get the mirror, what it really means to me is take a look at what is going on with you. You know, it could be something wonderful. It could be that you were part, if this is accurate. You know, I'm just going by these energies. There was a problem, maybe you were part of the problem. Or maybe you saw the problem and knew you needed to get out. But that's what the mirror is, to look at yourself and to see what you need to do, where you need to go. So it, this could easily be confirmation of what you're doing. Okay, thanks so much. I hope you have a wonderful week. Love and light. Take care. Bye.